T-Rex Arms has earned a reputation for practical innovation, starting from humble origins and growing rapidly into a prominent provider of tactical gear. While recent leadership transitions have placed the brand under scrutiny, our intent here is to examine the AC 1.5 plate carrier on its own merits, not comment on company dynamics. The AC 1.5 is promoted as being an updated, refined version of the T-Rex Arms AC 1 plate carrier. This technical overview dissects the AC 1.5's design, performance, material choices, and compatibility with thermal regulation systems using purely empirical data. Let's take a quick break to shout out to one of our sponsors, Bulk Munitions, America's ammo supplier. Based right here in Knoxville, Tennessee, they ship out fast, sell straight, and never mess around with gimmicks. Just honest pricing, bulk quantities, and the freedom to train hard. Check them out at bulkmunitions.com. As with our previous installments, this overview is facts first and instrument backed. We don't share conjectures or opinions. We aim to provide you with the necessary data to make informed decisions, empowering you to reach your highest potential. That is what building a superhuman future is all about. Let's cover relationship disclosures. We requested a sample of the AC 1.5 from T-Rex Arms as part of our plate carrier overview series. They agreed to provide the unit at no cost. We've previously featured their AC-1 plate carrier in another plate carrier overview video, which we'll link in the description. Nevertheless, this breakdown remains strictly objective, driven by measurable facts and standardized testing methods. No opinions, only results. Now let's find out how seamlessly the T-Rex Arms AC-1.5 integrates with our suite of thermal regulation tools, the Ice Age ecosystem. Because the AC-1.5 lacks internal Velcro loop field, you will need our Catamaran Gen 3 to integrate our Ice Fence pontoons and Ice Plate via IMS Pro Gen 3. Ice Flask Wing Holster integrates seamlessly with the hook and loop cummerbund attachment points on the front plate bag of the AC 1.5, but Ice Flask Molly Holster is incompatible with the AC 1.5 because it simply lacks the necessary molly to secure it. Ice Fence Arrow and Ice Fence Classic shoulder pads attach seamlessly to the shoulder straps of the AC 1.5. Few things impact human performance more than weight. Ounces equal pounds and pounds equal pain. We all know this. Now let's find out how much the T-Rex Arms AC 1.5 weighs when dry. With the front and rear plate bags, shoulder pads, cummerbund, and quasim buckles, the AC 1.5 weighs 1.45 pounds or 23.2 ounces. Does wet weight matter more than dry weight? It depends on your mission. A plate carrier's ability to shed water weight quickly can dramatically impact operator performance. Let's see how much the AC 1.5 weighs when wet. Our experimental design for this test is simple and the same across all of our wet weight tests. We submerged the AC 1.5 for 60 minutes, hung it to dry for 60 seconds, and weighed it. After submerging, the AC 1.5's wet weight came out to 2.4 pounds or 38.4 ounces. Now let's go over what the AC 1.5 is constructed from. The AC 1.5 is made from 500D Cordura nylon, tweave inner lining, and hook and loop fields. What is thermal transmittance and why does it matter for plate carriers? Thermal transmittance refers to the rate at which heat moves through a material. In the context of plate carriers, it specifically pertains to the body facing side of the plate carrier plate bag. When a material such as a wall or plate bag is well insulated, it has low thermal transmittance, making it effective at protecting against external temperature changes, ideal for homes, vehicles, or cold weather gear. Conversely, poorly insulated materials have a high thermal transmittance, which is beneficial for active or athletic apparel like running gear, PT outfits, combat uniforms, or plate carriers. High thermal transmittance allows the body to release excess heat generated during intense physical activity. Given that tactical gear inherently provides some level of insulation, it's crucial to choose equipment, particularly plate carriers and body armor, with the highest possible thermal transmittance. Essentially, you need gear with minimal insulation to enable your body's natural cooling processes to function optimally, helping you manage body temperature independently of your gear. This is critical to prevent heat-related issues, ensuring you remain effective and increasing your survival chances in the field. Some plate carriers, such as our Iceplate Exo Gen 3, augment and enhance your body's natural thermal regulation mechanisms, boosting your performance. For carriers lacking this feature, you can integrate items from our Ice Age ecosystem, like the IMS Pro Gen 3 Combo, Ice Flask, Ice Fence, and Catamaran Gen 3 to improve their thermal efficiency. 
For a detailed understanding of heat transfer methods and their relevance to your gear, check out the infographics in our Insights blog article titled The Methods of Heat Transfer, linked in the show notes below. Here's our test protocol. Record a FLIR surface temperature of the inside of the carrier at room temperature. Insert a frozen ice plate into the same plate bag, place a hard armor plate on top of it for 30 seconds. Remove the hard armor plate and record the temperature again. The AC 1.5 recorded a baseline surface temperature of 79 degrees Fahrenheit and an ice plate inside temperature of 49 degrees Fahrenheit, resulting in a thermal shift of 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So what do these numbers mean? In this chart, we've ranked the plate carriers we've tested from highest to lowest thermal shift. These plate carriers marked in red have low thermal shift readings, meaning they will trap and retain more heat, making you hotter. The smaller the spread between the initial or baseline surface temperature and the surface reading at room temperature, the lower the thermal transmittance of that plate bag. The plate carriers marked in blue have a higher thermal shift, which means they are better at removing heat to let your body's thermal regulation mechanisms work as naturally as possible. The larger the spread between the initial or baseline surface temperature and the surface reading at room temperature, the higher the thermal transmittance of that plate carrier. These tables show how the T-Rex Arms AC 1.5 compares to the other plate carriers we've tested. Now let's discuss what unique features the AC 1.5 has to offer. The AC 1.5 uses a Molly Row placard interface to mount modular placards securely. The reversible cummerbund is designed with cell orientation in mind, allowing different magazine or accessory setups. On the inside of both plate bags, you'll find a tweave lining that is designed to add comfort and improve breathability during extended wear. Let's now break down the main attachment mechanisms that the AC 1.5 utilizes. The AC 1.5 utilizes a single Molly Row interface on the front plate bag, two quasim buckles on the front plate bag, and hook and loop fields. From colorways to sizing, let's talk about the AC 1.5's variety. Available color options include Black, Coyote, M81 Woodland, Multicam, and Ranger Green. As for sizes, the AC 1.5 comes in small, medium, large, and extra large, based on plate size, not the wearer's body size. The AC 1.5 shoulder straps are hook and loop adjustable. The Cummerbund is a single reversible design made from elastic, meaning it adapts across different plate bag sizes without the need for separate models. The plates that the AC 1.5 will fit breaks down as follows. The AC 1.5 small fits sappy small plates 8.75 inches by 11.75 inches up to 1.2 inches thick, and shooter or swimmer plates 8 inches by 10 inches up to 1.2 inches thick. The AC 1.5 medium fits sappy medium plates 9.5 inches by 12.5 inches up to 1.2 inches thick, and shooter or swimmer plates 10 10 inches by 12 inches up to 0 0.70 inches thick. The AC 1.5 large fits sappy large plates 10.25 inches by 13.25 inches up to 1.2 inches thick and shooter or swimmer plates that are 10 inches by 12 inches up to 1.2 inches thick. Country of origin is a critical consideration when selecting a plate carrier. Country of origin is a dependable but not absolute indicator of innovation, quality, and craftsmanship. So where does the AC 1.5 come from? The T-Rex Arms AC 1.5 is made in the USA. Price is the least important factor when choosing your plate carrier. This is life-preserving gear. Most of us have learned the hard way that cutting corners on tools comes with a cost. So here's our advice. Do your research and buy once, cry once. Invest in quality now to avoid regrets later. And since you're watching this video, you're already on the right track. As listed on the T-Rex Arms website at the time of publishing this video, the AC 1.5 costs $240 to $250 depending on the colorway you select. Multicam and M81 Woodland cost an extra $10, bringing the price to $250, while the other colors cost $240. That's the full technical breakdown of the T-Rex Arms AC 1.5. We hope you found this video both informative and enjoyable. Do you have experience running the AC 1.5 yet? Drop your feedback, configurations, and impressions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram at Core Performance, and sign up for Launchpad for early access to our next wave of performance enhancing tools. Also, don't miss Best Plate Carriers 2026, our annual roundup where we compare every plate carrier we've tested throughout the year in one comprehensive video. See how they stack up side by side, backed by real data. Until next time, stay frosty.